What's up, insiders? Today we got another review for you. We're talking about the Aspire Reacts Kit. Looks familiar, right? Almost looks like a mini OBS cube. When Aspire first approached me about this, they told me, yeah, we don't know if we're gonna make this available in the States, but I guess they changed their mind because here it is. Funny thing about this kit though, before we dive into it, when Aspire first sent this to me, I wasn't sure that they were selling it as a kit. I wasn't even sure that they were selling it in the United States. But when I did a little bit of research, I noticed that Element Vape was selling it as a kit. So I'm not sure how this is gonna be available, but I'm reviewing it as a kit. I was gonna do two separate reviews, but we're gonna review this as a kit. We have the mod and we have the Tegon tank, okay? And that's exactly what would be in the kit. Mod's pretty simple, man. I like the nice textures that they have on it. I like the different textures. Really, really nice. Kind of like a faux kind of carbon fiber thing going on there. But it feels really nice in the hand because of all the different textures. You do have a little bit of a Spire branding over there, okay? There's your 510 on top. A little bit of a raised fire button, oval shaped, really nice. That's your menu button. That is your micro USB port. On top, we got two star screws holding everything in place. Stainless steel plate with some cutouts. Gold plated 510 that I would say has a medium throw with a medium spring to it. Nice job on that. In order to turn the mod on, five clicks, and you see the bottom light up like that? Okay, now this is your select button where you can select your different wattages. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you how this works. I got my finger on the menu button, okay? You can see right now I'm at 16 watts. There's bypass mode, 8 watts, 10 watts, 12 watts, 14 watts, and then this one is 16 watts again. Loving this little rubber piece around the bottom because when you put this down on like a table or a desk it don't move man it don't slide it just goes down nicely and it kind of you know makes it a lot less tipsy really nice job on that I mean it's just a simple mod man there's nothing special going on here it's just a simple variable wattage mod that just works really well I mean they did a nice job on it I like the way it feels in the hand and I love the different textures there's your micro USB cable for charging. Wanted to give you a quick size comparison because when I first saw this mod, it automatically reminded me of the OBS Cube, which, by the way, is one of my all-time favorite internal battery mods. I love this mod. It's built solid. It doesn't have the same build quality, but it's basically got the same shape, right? No screen. It's a little shorter. Definitely lighter, not as heavy. But, I mean, really the same type of form factor, just a little smaller. So that's what I wanted to give you as far as perspective goes with the size. Let's go over the tank real quick. So in the box, what you're gonna receive is you're gonna get a Tegon user manual, you're gonna get a warranty card, you're gonna get a baggie of spares, a bunch of them, you get a spare coil, a spare drip tip, a spare glass, and another coil pre-installed we're going to go over all the stuff in detail in the box. So here's the mouth to lung drip tip, 510 drip tip, very, very nice. Kind of almost has like a ball on the end of it. I like this drip tip. It's actually very comfortable. Here is the spare glass section. No bubble glass option on this at all. Here is the spare coil. This is the 1.2 ohm coil, good for 10 to 12 watts. Another one of those tiny, tiny coils. You've got a little bit of screen on top to get rid of the spit back, although I don't think it's an issue on this at all. Nice juice ports right there, okay? It's a plug-and-play style coil. You can see there's no threading on it. You just kind of push it in. I like that. Here is the Tegon tank itself. Love in the, the knurling over here. Not only does it look good, but it's functional, okay? Here's the airflow on the bottom. It has stoppers on both ends, but... The way they did this was on both ends. Here is the direct lung option right here. You can see that's wide open. There's only one airflow slot, nothing on the other side. But if you put it all the way to the left, you're going to see those different holes right there. And you can cut it down one hole at a time and really dial in your mouth to lung vape. Awesome job on that, Aspire. I mean, really nice job on that airflow. You can really dial it in if you're a true mouth-to-lunger. 
On the bottom you can see we have some Tegon branding, gold plated 510, insulator ring around that, stainless steel threading around that. You can see we have some Aspire branding as well. On the top part of the mod, there's your mark in order to fill. We do have a 510 drip tip, kind of like that curvy shaped one, almost like a almost like a recurved drip tip. I like this drip tip. I like it for the DL option, but I do like the other drip tip better for the mouth to lung option. Like I said, there's your mark in order to fill. You lift and then push. And the slide on this has got some really, really nice resistance. So not only does it have some nice resistance, but it's got a locking feature because you have to lift it. Awesome job on that Aspire. Fill port I would have liked to have seen a little bigger. It's not the greatest as far as size goes. It could have been a little bigger, but you know, you'll know you be able to use most bottles. Bullnose bottles may make a mess. And once you're done filling it up, you slide it over and pop it down and now it locks in place and it don't move. In order to access your coil, you just spin the base like you do on every other sub ohm tank. This little cap comes off, right? Your little base right there. You can see gold plated on the bottom there. All right, very conductive. And here is your coil. They are they are press fit. Sometimes they're press fit in there kind of tight. So you got to pop them out there with your nails. But look at this thing. I mean, just a nice, nice looking coil. This is the 0.4 ohm coil, good for 23 to 26 watts. And you can see again, just a regular round wire build in there. Got the screen in there. I do prefer this coil a lot more than the 1.2 ohm coil. This is just my style of vape. I like this coil. It's extremely flavorful. So now normally what you do is you'd prime this coil up, put a few juice drops down the middle, prime up your cotton slots right here, and then all you do is you pop it right in just like so. Once your coil is all in there, you take your base, give a little reverse thread. Threading on it is nice and smooth. I mean, Aspire always does a good job on their machining. Get it all nice and tight, pop that top cap open, and fill it up. Let me give you one last look at it, all put together with the mouth-to-lung drip tip. It's a good-looking kit, man. There ain't no doubt about that. I'm digging it. All right, inside is you. Let's get into the cons and pros. First con's going to be... This may be a little too simple for some people. It's got a real low wattage limitation, so that might bother some people. Only you diehard mouth to lungers are really gonna wanna take a look at something like this. And the last con's gonna be, I don't like that the wattage indicator is at the bottom of the mod. Don't like it at all. You had plenty of room to put it anywhere else. It's a con. But that's it on the cons. Really not a lot to complain about on this little flavor banger. Let's get into the pros. First pro is gonna be, it's simple, it's easy to use. There's no doubt about that, it's a pro. Nice build quality for what it is, it feels solid in the hand. Easy carry, man. Not much bigger than a pod, to be honest with you. You know, maybe a little bit bigger, but it's a nice, easy carry pro. So far, I've been getting great battery life on this thing. It's a legit mouth-to-lung setup, and it's got really great flavor. Let me show you what we're working with here, okay? I got this thing at 12 watts. Let me show you what we're talking about. I got that sad boy. Uh, what is that? That vanilla cookie custard. Fantastic juice. It tastes great in here. I love using this juice with this tank, like in the morning with my cup of coffee. The flavor is just banging. You know. I can dig this type of setup for when I'm trying to chill out with a cup of coffee in the morning. Really nice, full flavor. A really nice, loose mouth to lung drawer. You can dial it in any way you want, though, with this tank. If you want to tighten it up, go right ahead. You can get a legit mouth to lung drawer on it. It's a big pro. I like the different textures on the mod. You know, one side's smooth, one side's a little rough. Nice job on that pro. That rubberized bottom, when you put this thing on like a table, it don't move, it's not tipsy. I like that pro. And the last pro is gonna be, this thing charges pretty fast, man. It, you get great battery life and it charges pretty fast as well. It's a pro. So let's get into this one inside. Is, is this one like a really good little flavor banger for you mouth to lungers out there? 
Yeah, man, absolutely. If you're a legit mouth to lunga and you're under 20 watts all the time and that's just your jam, that's just the way you vape, you definitely want to check out this kit with this tank because the kit and tank together are fantastic. They work great in the mouth to lung spectrum as far as flavor and clouds go. It's fantastic. I love this little kit. It's my morning coffee setup. Let's go over some of the specs on the Aspire Reax Mini Kit. The mod has a 1600 milliamp hour internal battery. It measures in at 70 by 31.5 by 29.6 millimeters. It can fire from eight to 16 watts with bypass mode as well. It's primarily made of zinc alloy and aluminum construction. There is an LED battery indicator. Protections include short circuit, low voltage, overcharge, and overheat protection. It's available in silver, blue, rainbow, and black. The tank that comes in the kit is the Tigon tank. It measures in at 24 millimeters with a 3.5 ml capacity. It has a slider top cap and you get a 0.4 ohm coil, good for 23 to 28 watts, as well as a 1.2 ohm coil, good for 10 to 12 watts. This is a legit mount to lung tank. Big shout out to Aspire for sending this one my way. Definitely appreciate the support of the channel. Make sure you check out the link down below. Before you go anywhere, insiders, make sure you check out the link down below. We got a new store, the Vaping Insider Store, with my tagline on the shirt. We got some other cool designs as well. Here's our hoodie, New York Supports Vaping. We got a whole bunch of cool vaping shirts and hoodies. Make sure you check out the link down below and go over there and support vapinginsider.com. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you guys today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.